Hello everyone, my name is Sigmund Freud. You may know me as the founder of psychoanalysis or as the man who asked too many questions about your mother. Throughout my life, I have attempted to distill the human condition down to its fundamental elements to create a unifying framework for understanding the psyche. Psychoanalysis was born from this ambition and through this practice, I have discovered the drives which paint the portrait of our lives. Eros, the drive towards life, and Thanatos, the drive towards death. Eros drives us towards survival, reproduction, love, creativity, and social cooperation. It is our movement upwards towards the full potential of human flourishing. Thanatos is the downward motion towards self-destruction, aggression, and violence. I famously said in Beyond the Pleasure Principle that the goal of all life is death and that there exists in the minds of men an unconscious movement towards death. Thanatos might be explained as the desire to reunite with the mother in the infantile state, where wish fulfillment was the rule and all bodily needs are met where we are not shackled by the responsibilities of adulthood and the pressures of societal expectations. Thanatos could also be the brain's nostalgic desire to return to the inorganic state of being from which we came. Because living things came after and arose from inanimate objects, Evolution may have programmed this psyche with an instinct to return to the primordial void of non-being. In other words, Eros can be thought of as the desire for extropy and order, and Xanatos the desire for entropy and chaos. These two opposing forces make up the movement of energy within the psyche. Though the psyche may have an unconscious drive for non-being, death is a concept that is at odds with the ego. We cannot consciously conspire with the death drive. In fact, we erect vital illusions to deny mortality. My work on the psychology of death was expanded on by Ernest Becker, author of the book The Denial of Death. Becker writes, the idea of death, the fear of it, haunts the human animal like nothing else. It is a mainspring of human activity, activity designed largely to avoid the fatality of death, to overcome it by denying in some way that it is the final destiny for men. In other words, death is a problem which we need to solve. Becker poses three solutions to the problem of death, three modes of death transcendence. The first is the religious solution. Religion is a human universal, found in all cultures throughout the world, and provides us with a mean to have a relationship with divine reality. Our ego is afraid of death because when we die, it dies. But if we transcend the ego and identify with God, we can see our physical death as a transformation rather than a punctuation. The second is the romantic solution, where we turn our lovers into gods and identify with their divinity. Our love object becomes divine perfection and we raise ourselves to that perfection by joining our destiny to it. When we gaze into the eyes of our lover, we feel, if only for a moment, immortal. A lover's union also creates the space for new life to be born, which is a biological means of denying death. We live on through the life we create. That brings me to the creative solution, where we attempt to become immortal through the creation of things that will live on after our deaths. In this view, each work of art is an immortality project, promising eternal life through the survival of creative works. 
Zongzi attempt to deny death may lead us into acts of creation, love, service to God. It is important to not allow the fear of death to become pathological and oppressive. Ram Das, who I began to speak with in heaven over the past year, has taught me that it is also possible to grow from the contemplation of death. Mr. Das taught me that allowing death to be intensely present enriches both the preciousness of each moment and our detachment from it. It is important that we are not so afraid of dying that we are willing to give up living. And with that, happy deities and demons, everyone. Say hi to your mother for me.